Hi Jurassic Kitties, Winnie here. Today we're going to draw Spongebob Squarepants house. So let's get started. To draw Spongebob's awesome pineapple house, let's first start by drawing a dome shape. So I'm going to come about right here and I'm just going to start to go up and just draw this nice round dome. So about that high. And I'm going to start to come down. And before I finish this curve, in this area right here, I know there's going to be a smokestack that I need to draw. So I'm just going to kind of skip a little bit of space and just imagine it coming about right here. And I'm just going to bring it down. But if you're using a pencil, just go ahead and finish this curve. Okay, so we've got the basic shape in, something like that. Then let's come um, to the top right here and we're going to draw the leaves of this pineapple house. So right in the center, we're just going to go up with the first main leaf. So just go nice and high, say about right there, and bring it right back down. And you can come in here with a center line and flick it out. And then let's start to draw the leaves on the side. So I'm going to come about right here. And we're just kind of building this little curve shape of the, with the leaves. So let's come down. And really, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and so then to come here, we just want to draw some leaves on top of this pineapple. And another one and tuck it in. So once again, same thing, just the center lines. Just flick it out. Okay, and then there's going to be a center one right here. One more. And about right there and just tuck it in. So same thing on this side. So about right here. Oh, let's come right here. And same thing. And curve and tuck it right in. And once again, the lines you can flick out right in the center. And one more. Just tuck it right in there. There. So we got the leaves in. So then now let's, uh, let's see here. Let's draw the door. That's the main thing here at the bottom. So now this, these two points are pretty even. Let's come in here and just connect it. So with a soft curve. Let's go ahead and connect it and give our house a base. And then let's come and draw the door. So it's going to be another dome shape. So I'm going to say about right here and here. I'm just going to give myself two points so I know where I'm going. Nicely in the center. And I'm just going to go up about right there and start to come down. And then from there, let's draw some details on this door. So let's come for the first curve. And I'm just going to follow the outside. And then we're going to come to the bottom right here and just draw a straight line across. And we're going to follow that dome shape again and go up. My wobbly line here. <laughs> okay. And then um, there's a bunch of rivets here. So I'm just going to very lightly just draw a bunch of circles that go all the way around to make it look like metal. I just love SpongeBob's house. It's just so awesome and so colorful. Okay, and then in the center, let's draw the um, ship steering wheel handle right here. So right in the center, about right here, I'm just going to draw a circle. And then another circle inside very lightly. And then let's see here, let's draw one, two, and then the ones on the going at the angle, three, and four and five there and then let's see okay so now we have the door in let's come and draw the two windows so the um the porthole windows so i'm just going to say about right here i'm just going to add a circle 
just kind of in this area. And let's come in here with another circle. And then once again, we're just going to come to the sides and just draw some circles that go all the way around. And then right on the side right here, we're just going to add a curve and taper in to give it some dimension. And so then there's going to be another window right here next to the door. So see about right here. And once again, another circle inside. And small circles going all the way around. And then this side, there's going to be that curve coming this way. So now that we're done with the windows and the door, let's come back up here and draw the smokestack. So in the space that I left, I'm going to pop out a, um, a line that comes out. And I'm going to round this part off right here. And let's connect it. So a little line right there. And then we're going to curve this part up and follow and connect. And then right here at the top, we're just going to draw this little shape right here, kind of curved a little bit wider at the top. So we have our little smoke uh, stack in here. And then you can come back in here and just finish off your curve if you're not using a pencil. There. Okay, so then let's see here. The other elements are the... Um, the path right here. So I'm going to come about where the door is and just draw an angle that comes out on both sides. And then in here, I'm just going to go ahead and draw some of the stepping stones. So it's just a bunch of ovals here and there. Some bigger, some smaller. Use some smaller ones here and there. It really doesn't matter. Okay, so maybe one more here. <laughs> Actually, I'm going off the page, huh? Okay, so something like that. Just a bunch of ovals for the stepping stones. And then you um, can give it some background right here. So you can come right here, kind of draw like where the sand is. Give it a background. And you can come in here and draw some of the houses in the back. So just this simple little shapes in the back. Little smokestack. And let's see here, maybe some over here as well, just to decorate the background if you like. Maybe a little small one right here. Okay, and then let's see here. There's a bunch of little flowers right here, this little organic shape. I'll do that when I'm coloring. And also there's the stripes on the pineapple, and I'll also do that when I'm coloring because I don't want to muddle the black. And let's see, we can add some of these little decorations here if you like. These stones in the sand. Maybe a smaller one. Uh, maybe a little plant right here <laughs> and go all out with Spongebob's uh, house right here. See how much uh, detail you want to put. So now that we're pretty much done with the um, main elements of this house, let's come in here and color it and add some details to the pineapple.
So there, hope you love how my SpongeBob SquarePants Pineapple House turned out and it inspires you to dry too. Thanks so much for watching and if you loved it, please make sure to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you won't miss any new Jurassic videos. See you later.